Hello viewers, I am Aitli. Today we are going to see 11 CBSE Max Straight Lines Miscellaneous Exercise Question number 10. Let's see the question. If three lines whose equation are y is equal to m1x plus c1, y is equal to m2x plus c2, y is equal to m3x plus c3 are concurrent, then show that m1 c2 minus c3 plus m2 c3 minus c1 plus m3 c1 minus c2 is equal to 0. Given that all the three lines lie on a there is one point of intersection between all the three lines. Concurrent means lie, there is one point of intersection. They all meet once. Now, taking any two equation, if we do elimination, the point of intersection, we can find the value of x and y. The point of intersection, we can able to find it. Now, taking any two equation, I'm going to take the first one and the second one. Going to solve it, going to find the x and y value, substitute it in the third equation, we can find we can uh, find the to prove. Yeah. First equation is y is equal to m1x plus c1. Uh, second one is y is equal to m2x plus c2. Now uh, subtracting we get this get cancelled now taking x common here it comes as m1 minus m2 plus c1 minus c2 this is equal to 0 bringing c1 minus c2 this is this side m1 minus m2 x into m1 minus x2 is equal to this becomes minus c1 minus c2 this is in multiply this comes as a divide so it becomes m1 minus m2 so x is equal to taking sign inside it becomes c2 minus c1 plus will be become minus minus will become plus so by m1 minus m2 this is your value of x substituting it in any of the equation we get to our y substituting in 1 substitute x in 1 we get y is equal to m1 into instead of x we have c2 minus c1 by m2 m1 minus m2 plus c1 multiply it inside we have y is equal to m1 c2 minus m1 c1 the same time i want to do my lcm so multiplying it here it becomes the denominator to the side m1 c1 minus m2 c2 by it becomes m1 minus m2 now this get get cancelled and here it becomes y is equal to m1 c2 minus m2 c2 Sorry, m2 c1 by m1 plus m2 sorry m1 minus m2 this is our y so we have found our y we have found our x we can substitute it in the third equation to find the to prove now the third equation is substitute x and y in equation 3 the equation 3 here is y is equal to m3x plus c3 now we have y as m1c2 minus m2c1 by m1 minus m2 which is equal to m3 into we have x as c2 minus c1 by m1 minus m2 plus c3 so instead of x i am just substituted the value here here we need to multiply this inside and we need to take LCM for C3. Now M1 C2 minus M2 C1 by M1 minus M2. You are taking a, uh, multiplying it inside it becomes M3 C2 minus M3 C1. Also taking LCM so we need to multiply with both the terms. So it becomes M1 C3 minus M2 C3 by m1 minus m2 now this get cancelled because of the same denominator taking everything to one side m1 c2 minus m2 c1 
minus m3 c2 yeah this becomes plus m3 c1 this becomes minus m1 c3 this becomes plus m2 c3 equal to 0 according to prove we have m1 common so take the m1 terms take the common outside common m1 outside means c2 here minus c3 so this is over now m2 this is one m2 and we have one m2 here taking m2 common outside first is plus so c3 first comes then minus c1 plus now taking m3 common in this two we have c1 minus c2 is equal to 0 this is what we need to prove so it came lhs is equal to rhs hence we have proved it that's all with the sum thank you